Delhi has the world's dirtiest air. According to a report by the World Health Organization, while India rejects the charge, it admits the situation is pretty bad. So just how polluted is Delhi? Well, I've decided to take an auto rickshaw ride to find out. And to help me, I've got this handy pollution meter fixed into this backpack. So I just have to keep it in the auto rickshaw and it'll measure the small particles floating in the air. Bhaiya, Khan market le sakte? Putting it here, it measures the small particles that are flying about in the air. These are the most dangerous because they are linked with increased chances of bronchitis, lung cancer, even heart disease. Thank you. So after half an hour in a Delhi auto rickshaw, the machine has now come to stop. So as I can show you, and this is many times over the safety limit. So even in the afternoon in a non-peak traffic area and possibly the greenest area of Delhi, we are about 10 times the safety limit. So what we're breathing right now is almost dangerous air. One solution is to ban these. Automobiles older than 15 years have been ordered off the roads in a bid to clean up the air. Cities across the world are taking similar steps. But for many first-time car buyers in India, older vehicles are the only affordable option. For any Indian family that's upgrading from a scooter or a two-wheeler, even that is a luxury. It's not right to deny them the right to buy a vehicle. But the government says vehicles are the biggest air polluters and contribute to 70% of air pollution. The ruling hits up to a third of the 8.4 million motorbikes, trucks and cars that ply the traffic-choked roads. Critics say the bigger problem is the fuel and not older vehicles. Diesel is the biggest villain. I mean, let's be clear, there is more than evidence now. You've just had a recent judgment from the European Court of Justice. The French Premier has said diesel has been a big mistake in Europe. We are continuing that mistake. Today, half the cars sold in India run on diesel. In a city where 1,500 new vehicles roll out on the roads every day, many fear the ban will be largely unenforceable. Shilpa Kannan, BBC News, Delhi.